What is going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand new video. Today is going to be a fun one and I cannot wait to get into it. We are actually at Aldi's right now and you might be asking yourself, what in the world are you doing at Aldi's grocery store? Well, let me tell you, tomorrow, July 18th is going to be the biggest bourbon drop in all of New Jersey from what I can gather. There are probably people already there camping out at this liquor store waiting for this bourbon drop. But let me tell you a little bit about this, right? Why we are at all these is because we need to get non-perishable food items, cans and groceries and stuff along those lines to get our raffle tickets for the raffle at the end of the event. Now, when we get to Roger Wilco in South Jersey, we are going to be presenting all of our cans. We get a raffle ticket per item and there's also a bourbon wall. So the bourbon wall opens up at four o'clock. Like I said, people are probably already at this liquor store camping out ready for this bourbon wall to drop there are going to be hundreds of bottles on this bourbon wall and well hopefully by the time we get there tomorrow morning and camp out for a couple of hours we can possibly snag one of these bottles but let's run inside all these let's get our non-perishable items enough to be able to get into this event tomorrow and i uh, hope we have an absolute blast for this entire video let's go on inside all right so we've got about 50 items in here mac and cheese a bunch of different soups stuffing mixes jiffy uh, cornbread mix some salt gravy packets tomato sauces and a bunch of assorted uh, vegetables this is all going to charity this is fantastic 50 items and 30 dollars later we've got a full bag to go to roger wilco tomorrow with and get our raffle tickets there are a lot of families that are not as well off as you and i are so giving back to the community is definitely a big thing and you know being able to do that myself even though we have a big bourbon raffle going on for this you know it still feels good doing that but i will see you guys tomorrow at the event i hope you guys enjoy everything that goes down till tomorrow see you guys Oh man, early morning already. It is currently 7.02 a.m. We are scheduled to get there at 8 o'clock this morning. And like I said yesterday, I do believe there are going to be people there already. I do know a couple of people I know are going to be there. So hopefully we can get there roughly around the same time. Um, but this is going to be a fun day. We've got our cup of coffee, we've got a bottle of water, we got a pork roll, egg and cheese on a biscuit, and then uh, they've got food trucks and stuff there ready for us throughout the day. So, hope you guys enjoy this one. This is going to be a fun one. I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, so we're here with the second person that got here. You want to introduce yourself, tell us what time you got here, where you're from, and what you're looking forward to get. All right, so I'm from Harrisburg, PA, but I live in Maryland. Uh, my buddy and I got here at 5.30 yesterday and, well, looking to get something that rhymes with taffy. All right. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. What about us, gentlemen? What time did we get here? What are we looking for? Got here at 8 o'clock last night. Hoping for a Pappy or a B-Tac, but okay. maybe Stag, but maybe, All right. maybe All right. Russell's 15 if it's up there. If it's up there, right? That'd be nice. Uh, stag or, a, you know, uh, what else? Whatever's good. Whatever's good. <laughs> Whatever's good. The number one bottle on the wall. Number right? one bottle on the wall. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Gentlemen, you mind if I ask you a couple questions for the YouTube channel? Not at all. Awesome. Awesome. Just What's your YouTube channel. Uh, everyday drinker. Okay. So, gentlemen, what time did we get here today? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, like 9 p.m. 9 p.m. All right. Yeah. All right. Got here around 11 o'clock last night. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Where are we from? Stanhope, New Jersey. Okay. Up so we're north. From, little, little, yeah. Okay. Off, yeah. Philadelphia. All right, so local. We yeah. Took a little drive. How long was that drive for you? An hour and a half, two hours. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm from uh, up in Helmetta. So it's about okay. an hour, hour and fifteen. Yeah, for you me. know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. So obviously we know these guys are here before you. Hopefully they don't take anything too good. But what are you I looking know, to get? Bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, some E.H. Taylor, maybe some uh, E.H. Taylor barrel proof. Barrel proof. Uh, okay. Full proof. I'll be happy Mictors. with. Um, maybe a Mictors 10. 10. Yeah. 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 I saw a bunch of E.H. Taylor boxes in there. So yeah, I saw There's them too. A lot too. of single barrels. So, yeah. You know, we'll see what see what's available. Yeah. We'll Okay. All right, gentlemen, good luck. Thanks, man. You got it. All right, so we're here with like the 10 to 15 group. Let's see where they're from, what time they got here, and what they're looking forward to get. Uh, we got here what? 
10 30 ish and okay, last uh, night last yeah. night yeah Ooh. yeah it was a long night okay and uh hoping for a weller cypb okay or cybp cy cypb CY or uh <laughs> create your perfect barrel and um Maybe uh, bland straight from the barrel this okay. year. Hopefully, I didn't see one last year for the winter. Yep. But hopefully, you know, I was thinking that too. Hopefully, it makes it all the way over like yep. 40s, 50s. What <laughs> <though. laughs> <laughs> about showing over here? Uh, I came from upstate New York. Okay. Got here about midnight and probably looking like for a uh, Weller single barrel to complete the Weller set. All right, there you go. How long was that drive for you? Three and a half hours. Ooh. Go through the rain After and everything. You go, come back and tell me if anybody drove longer. I will. I will. <laughs> I heard there was somebody from Connecticut, but I don't think okay, that's a longer yeah. drive. Right here, he's, he's the one that got uh, the first pick last year at the Summer Stab. Okay. So. All right. Yeah, I heard he makes it every party. Rumor is that's why they make you open the bottles now. Was him last year. <laughs> There's a rumor for your channel. <laughs> what about us? This is the part of the line that we all thought we were going to be uh, first, you know, okay. yesterday, uh, late evening. We pulled up about uh, 1130. We're both from uh, Philadelphia. Okay. And at this spot in line, I would love to see what's available, but I'm hoping they have like a huge Taylor Bauer proof, maybe. So that'd be a nice we'll little pickup. We'll yeah. You never know. Some people Fingers crossed. Right. I know what they're driving, right? They leave it for you on, the, right. on, the, on the wall. A couple blanton's in the front of the line, you know? That'd be great. It's a horse. I'm going to take it. Right? Thank you, guys. I'll just ask you what time we got here, what we're looking for, yeah. and where we're from. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. I got here at 1.20 a.m. 1.20 a.m.? Okay. All right. Unfortunately, you're all the way back here. Yeah. 19. Number 19. Number 19. All right. All right. So what are we looking forward to get? William LaRue Weller. All right. Well, hope. I'm hoping for it. No, it's not going to happen. Hey, you never know. You never know. Could be snuck behind the back. You never know. True. That's true. That's true. There you go. What about us over here? Where are we from? Richmond, Virginia. Took a little drive. All right. How long was that drive for you? I, I can't disclose that. <laughs> <laughs> but we were 10 minutes after him. Uh. Yeah. So could have changed his number a bit, but we're we looking for... We had a rest for, stop. All right, all right. Thank you, guys. Had to make a little pit stop right at the rest stop. There you go. Yeah. What are we looking forward to get? Uh, probably each barrel proof. Each other barrel proof? Yeah. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Well, good luck, everybody. Thank you. Thank of course, of course. What's your handle? Everyday drinker. Everyday drinker? Yes, sir. Yes, so we sir. We can find you on where? YouTube and TikTok. Thank you. You got? Of course. Do you drink every day? Every day. Me. Gentlemen, we're all right with answering yeah, questions. Absolutely. Questions? Awesome. So, where we're from, um, what we're looking forward to get, and what time we got here. How's that sound? Yeah, cool. Awesome. Awesome. So, so what do you say? Sure. Uh, I was driving down the street about 2.45 in the morning, and I thought, I have a good shot to be in top 10. And then I pulled in and... Uh, was not top 10. Uh, and I top lived, 25? And I lived down the street. Yeah, barely. I got just snuck into the AP top 25. 24th. 24th. Like a mid-major. But uh, I'm getting a little nervous because everyone I hear you interview was talking about getting the EH barrel. Yeah. And uh, that's what I was looking for. So, we'll see. You never know. There's hopefully, a bunch of stag, a bunch of wellers. I got stag last time. Okay. So hopefully cooler heads prevail. But I was 180 last time. So you were number 180 last time? Yeah. Wow. All right, so that, that gives me hope at, like, 55. So hopefully cooler heads prevail. Hey, there you go. And uh, this was all worth it. There you go. Good luck. How about you, sir? Yeah, so I pulled in the parking lot at 4.01 a.m. Okay. Uh, number 25. And uh, hoping to get uh, either a uh, Elmer T. Lee. Okay, okay. Uh, what I really wanted was the Eagle Wear 17, but that's, there's no way it's going to still be there. Nah. But. <laughs> Never Stay know. positive. Stay yeah. positive, right? Stay positive. Stay positive. <laughs> someone might see the, the, the Blanton Horsey. Someone might see the, the Stag Antlers. and might leave that Eagle there for you. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> Chip in a chair. Hey, there you go. Good luck, gentlemen. <laughs> Thanks. You got it. You got it. All right. So where did we come from? How long did it take us to get here? A little over an hour. I'm in uh, Branchburg, Jersey. Okay. All yeah. right. All right. How about, about, about an hour. About an hour. Then we have Valley. Nice. Okay. Nice. Yeah. nice. Oh, good luck, everybody. Thanks, what are you looking for? What am I looking for? Yeah. You know, being probably number 55 <laughs> over there. It's just something that's uh, better than a stag, regular you know? blend. You know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the gentleman that was at like 19 over there had was number 180 last year and still got a stag. So. Yeah. Oh, you, it's you're, not you're, you're guaranteed a stag. Right. For sure. Guaranteed something. I, I was right? gonna joke and be like, I'll take a pappy, but <laughs> <laughs> number one was hoping you'd get a pappy. I'm like, all right, I, I hope you do too. <laughs> so we're probably at about numbers 80, 85 all the way back. 
70? Oh, no. All I got right. up there and said it was 69. I think you miscounted a little bit. No, we're going to go with my numbers. I feel better about it. So what time did we get here? Uh, 10.30. 10.30. 10.30? Okay. Yep. All right. We pulled up at 11.30 last night and saw 20 people in line and turned around and went home. Because yeah. all the good bottles are going to be gone? Yes. Right. <laughs> I like the, th I like the thought. I like the thought. Right. So at this number in the line, what are we looking for on the wall? Um, bottle stag. Bottle stag? Yeah, I think we'll get a stag, maybe a nice Wellers. Okay. We'll be right. in that range, I think. I think, I think. I think in the top 100, we're going to square good. Stag, you should be good. Yeah. Yes, sir. Same thing. Same thing. Stag, Weller. Yep. There you go. Well, hopefully you guys get what you're looking for, all right? You too. Thank you. So now it is just a waiting game. We are officially number 46 in line. We're back in the truck. We don't have to sit outside anymore. It is currently 1224 in the afternoon. We've been here for about six hours. Met a lot of cool people. Everybody here in line is great, great people. Um, but this is just an absolute fun, fun event. If you went in the store and you did buy a bottle of travelers or one of their store picks or so on and so forth you also got more tickets into the raffle so we've got another 25 tickets here for buying that bottle of the travelers and then for all of my items i got 50 items i got another 25 tickets so we've got 50 total tickets going into the raffle at the end of the night hopefully we can get something good once we get back in a line i can then show you guys the whiskey wall and everything that they've got on top of there but hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can get something good and you guys are going to be along for the ride. I'll see you guys inside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are next in line. Just waiting for this guy to get what he wants. He's looking all over the place. See some stags. See that old forester rye over there. Really interesting. Not quite sure what these prices are though. Let's see. Stags looking like 80 bucks. Yeah, they're all 24 egg. Let's see here. A bunch of tailors up top, but hopefully we can get through around and get back and get one of those tailors. I think we're gonna snag one of these stags. 80 bucks. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. You too. Yep. To you, sir. What you end up going with? Went with a stag, stag as well? Yep. Stag party. First time through, went with the Stag 24A, the newest release of this year. Hopefully, we'll go back in line. Maybe there'll be something else intriguing on that bar top that we can snag and go home with as well. So second time through, didn't really find anything, but we've got the bourbon raffle going on in a couple of hours. So we're gonna go around inside, try some samples and uh, see what we can get out of this raffle. Um, what is probably known as a shit ton of food for the food. Yeah. I think I saw um, at least 10 or 12 Gaylords completely filled with food, which is, now the last, the last two times we did this, we, we donated uh, over, I think it was over 38,000 meals each time we did it. So, I think we're going to beat it this time. So, you guys should be commended. Thank you very much. Woo! Russell Reserve, Barrel Top, a Black Sam's, is it Sam's I don't know. Whatever, carry on suitcase, the TSA approved, and whatever behind door number three. Or, Russell's 15. Russell 50 for $199.99. Anybody with the ticket? Yellow and white, 350-44504. Green, 329-40792. Oh, fix. You got it? All right, do you want? Do you want the old Fitz eight-year decanter, one nineteen ninety eight, Or old Fitz or a white bike and whatever behind door number two? Bottle? 
Now that was an absolute blast of an event. We were here for just over 12 hours, an absolute long ass day. But hey, our first bottle we picked up was the Travelers. Had to get this for some extra tickets, which paid off in the end because, well, we did end up getting the Stag Junior 24A on the bourbon wall, which you guys did see. But unfortunately, my camera did die halfway through the auction. But three quarters of the way through the auction, they did the Willet Purple Top 10 year at 129.6 proof. And we were able to get our hands on our first Purple Top. Now, we do have to crack these, unfortunately, at the store. I wish I didn't have to do that. But.